So Prova is a, a local-driven project where you have small producers, uh, agricultures that join with the consumers in a short-circuit framework using technology. So what happens is that the agriculture, the farmers, they come together and they work in this cooperative manner to supply fresh uh, seasonal fruits and vegetables to consumers at home. And they use this website where they can exchange the places and the locations where they would pick up the, the basket, with the vegetables and the fruits. So in the study we have conducted, and we conducted a survey with the consumers and also one with the farmers, and what we found is that it has advantages for both uh, types of uh, audience. So for the consumers, you have the advantage of increasing their health because people start eating more vegetables and fruits. And what we found is that they have three times more the probability of eating fruits and vegetables during the day than non-prof consumers. And for the farmers, what we found out is especially gains on empowerment and feeling that they have a saying on the decisions of the daily livings and also on their well-being and satisfaction. In the beginning, there was uh, uh, some difficulties on bringing the farmers together to work in a cooperative way. Although they were living in the same site and they have a strong local identity, they, could not, they were not used to work in a collaborative manner. So the promoters, the government had a very important role to play there and they tried to create these local uh, groups of farmers. And after that, the project began to work relatively well and after a certain amount of time, there were a lot of uh, local farms all over Portugal that were created. Uh, the new challenge that they had now to maintain Prova is to find the funding for the central services they need, like for instance, using the software tools like a G Prova software, and that this was funded by the government and now they need to find a way to self-sustain. So this is a major challenge now. So the major impacts on health equity we found was actually on the farmer side because the farmers did, didn't have a proper income when the project started. But by collaborating and creating this project, they, would be, they were able to find a proper salary, month salary, and they were able to make a living out of agriculture. So in fact, there were very big advantages in Prova for farmers. For consumers, uh, as far as our study could say, uh, it's not so much because mostly these are highly educated young women that use Prove. So we really need to make an effort there to make Prove more inclusive for all consumers. And one hypothesis would go, for instance, and they are trying this now in the project, go through schools in, for instance, areas of uh, low social economical background, for instance. So we also found in our study that our consumers the prof consumers, they tend to eat less meat. So they have a 55% more chances of eating less than two portions of red meat every week in comparison with non-prof consumers when you match it with several demographics. So from an impact uh, point of view on the environment, we know that red meat consumption has a, a impact, a significant impact. So uh, by eating uh, or using PROV, you are actually decreasing that impact of red meat consumption.